Hi family, I hope you are good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister Pusha Mahau again. Um, today my spirit is not really that well. But uh, we know that whatever uh, we are commanded to do, we do it. And we just pray for whatever may be a burden in our spirit. Why do I love my ancestors? Why do people love their ancestors? We love our ancestors because our ancestors give us a sense of belonging. We love worshipping our ancestors because the ways of our ancestors are easy ways in the eyes of man. We love and hold on to the memory of our ancestors and worship them because the ways of ancestors is human understanding. We follow our ancestors and worship them because our ancestors' ways are not ways with the rules are not ways that cannot be reached without any help of any spirit. You know, the ways of our ancestors are ways that can be handled well by man because the ways of our ancestors is driven by anger, is driven by hate, is driven by vengeance, is driven by so many human um, fleshly fruits that men can give. The ways of God are ways man cannot comprehend. The ways of God are ways that man hate to, to hate. The ways of, of God are ways that man, the Bible says narrow is the gate. So going to God and following God and worshiping God is not easy for humanity to comprehend. Man want to rule himself. Men want to lay laws that only men can do and understand. So God says, if you want to follow him, you need to obey his commandments. He says, if you love him, you need to obey his commandments. Your ancestors doesn't say you must follow any commandments. Your ancestors are literally all about you and how you feel about them and just you following your human understanding from a point of human love because you were once connected to them. Your ancestors, it's all about if you want to cry, you cry and you have that sense of memory, sense of belonging, sense of I know them. If they were here, they would be doing this because you spend time with them. You do not have an understanding of an invisible God whose presence is around you all day long. You do not have an understanding of this God because without his spirit you can never connect with him but your, your your ancestors you are so attached and you feel too connected to them and feel that they are your gods on earth because you were co-joined by an umbilical cord but here is the question that one needs to ask themselves every time they consider thinking of worshiping ancestors who created the umbilical cord that connected you, the nasal that connected you to your ancestors who created it because they didn't. They were also co-joined by an umbilical cord to their ancestors. But who was the first to create an umbilical cord? The ways of ancestors is easy. It's hard to follow, yes. It's hard hard to walk it's hard to to get to a point where you understand them according to you but it's an easy way because it's a man way you see it's a man way that is not really complicated unless you complicate it yourself your ancestors teach you one thing if somebody is doing you bad if somebody is is they they teach you ways on how to take care of a problem your ancestors teach you ways on how to solve problem with the problem. Your ancestors are not, they will teach you the, 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 the deep secrets, even of wickedness. Why? Because every generation had a witch in its family. They don't, they don't come and they are angels. Whereas we lived with them. They're human beings. They add. And then all of a sudden, they become gods. That we want to so much love, 
and worship. It is okay to remember my ancestors. It is okay to remember from which generation I come from. But it is a problem to worship the dead. I don't even want to bring in along the Bible because the Bible is in contradiction with people that obey and worship their ancestors. I don't want to, to, to bring in a, a Jesus that people call white because he's in contradiction with people that worship their ancestors. But here is the thing with ancestors. Ancestors are to remain a memory, but they are just but a memory. Your ancestors are not behind all the spirits that teach wickedness. In as much as it is hard to accept, in as much as you cannot understand nor try to separate it, it is not ancestors. But these are spirits that were formed and only the, the, the one who created the universe understands them well because he tells you that there are spirits powerful spirits that are rooming about and they have taken uh, uh, vessels in the, the, the bodies of the dead and made use of them in such a way that today it's no longer about a memory of our ancestors, but it is more about idolism, it, it, idolaters. It is more about demigods. It is more about the dangers that is fueled by what we call ancestors. My, my, my ancestors are not demonic. Remembering my ancestors is not a sin, not demonic. But my ancestors do not operate the way the dark spirits and dark forces have made them to be. It is okay to remember those God borrowed you on earth. But in which way do you remember them? Who are they to you? The mediators, they can't be. They can't be the mediator between you and God. They died some without even knowing who God is. They died some not, not knowing who Christ is. How then will they become a mediator between you and God? When God has told us there's, there's, there's only one mediator, how do they become mediators? They are not mediators. Do I rejoice in the memory of my ancestors? Yes, I do. And I bless God for having borrowed me their lives. But I cannot bring myself to worship them and turn them to demigods. Because in most cases, answers that one person gets from the ancestors or speaking to the ancestors is exactly an answer that they already had. Subconsciously, they were thinking of that. Subconsciously, they were thinking of ways of how to solve their own problems. Sometimes it's not even from their own ancestors whom they so dearly loved, but it comes from the, the answers are coming from a spirit behind working as our loved ones. We should not hate the fact that we have a memory with the, 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 the deceased, but we should hate the memory of turning them into gods because they are not God. They can never be God. There's only but one God, and there's only one way to him, and there's only one mediator between us and him. And that is exactly what we hate. We, we hate to hear what scripture says. We hate to follow scripture because the ways of God is not an easy way. That's why the Bible is telling us that narrow is the gate, meaning it's wide to follow any belief system that you want. It's very wide and easy. I will repeat this. It's not diabolic to remember the ancestors. Those were part of who God made us to be. But it's diabolic to worship and idolize the dead. Because the dead that don't have, they don't have a say in the land of the living. It is not diabolic for me to know medicinal plants. But it is how I use it. And for what purpose? What do I command upon a plant? in order to say, I want to heal somebody. 
We cannot refute any gift any person has that is coming from God. But is it everything laid out as how God has laid out his way to us? It is important to understand the difference. It is important to understand that anything can hide behind a, a loved one. Anything can, can hide behind your loved one because humanity understand human vulnerability. Humanity understand that when a person loses a person, there's emptiness, there's a gap that your heart wants to be filled. And the devil has used exactly that, that humanity is hostile to God. Humanity is vulnerable at the point of death. And in that, the devil has lured many to deceive, deceitful ways. It is not bad to hate your ancestors. It is not bad to remember your ancestors. It is only said to see you make them demigods, to see you make them little gods, because they are not. It is more than you think. It is more than you think. Are you sure it's not your subconscious controlling you over truth? Because truth is reality that no man wants to hear. That's why the Lord Jesus says I'm the truth. Truth men do not want because men want to control themselves. Men want to rule himself. Men want to use God. Men want to have God in terms of trouble, but in terms of joy and happiness and all that men want to rule himself. Men want to hold God on the side and say in times of trouble and in case you do exist, just know, try to write my name. God cannot be mocked. God is not like that. God is after a heart that says, without me seeing, I believe. It is by faith that we believe that everything as it is, it is God. And that also is a gift from God. We are not saying shun away the memory of your ancestors. But we are saying don't hold on to them so much that it turns into idolatry. I stand here with the people I loved that are gone. They are not diabolic, but they can never be my demigods. God is living and God is one. I cherish the memories I had with my beloved family, but they are just that, a piece of memory that is engraved in my mind, but I can never allow them to rule me again in the land of the living. When they are gone, to the land of the dead. But anyway, it's everyone's choice. Anyone has a choice to make in which way they want to go. Do I want to worship my ancestors? It is your love for them that is leading you to where you will end. You know, and it's not judgment upon you. But it's a question. Do you think it's a way that is worthy of your creator? Why do we love our sisters? Why so much love for us, for them? Is only one race that carry the memory of ancestors so much that there, there will be raised sorcery, mediums, spiritists, diviners, is it only in one race that ancestors exist? Why do we love them? We love them because they please flesh. They please the thought of a man. They please the ways of a man. That it's not a way that is too complex. It's not a way that is too difficult to walk. 
it's get, it just gets complicated. It's a way with certain rules to follow, but not ways to obey. Because God is all about trust and obey. That man doesn't want to do. So why you find a man and a woman, they get married. With time, they start to cheat. Because men hate obeying the law. They cannot be faithful to themselves for long. Because they get tired of obeying laws. That is just humans. For us to go back to the perfection God created from Genesis and say it is good. We need the spirit of God to live in us. Because the ways of God are ways men cannot comprehend. Are ways that you cannot, you will never know on your own. You need a helper to interpret the ways of God. And to reveal the secrets of God. It is okay to remember your ancestors. In which way do you remember them? Is it God pleasing or self pleasing? Whatever the answer may be, God loves you. God loves you. And in that love, I pray you find the truth. May the grace and peace of God be with you. Stay blessed. Always and remember, you are loved. I love you. God loves you more.